welcome. Find a place where you can feel a long straight spine, whether that's sitting up or lying down. Feeling your breath down in your diaphragm, feeling that really huge space below your ribs. Breathing into our chest underneath our ribs actually constricts the amount of oxygen we can really get into our bodies and really release the belly and feel that deep breath. And let this deep breath be the foundation of the rest of your practice. I was thinking about foundation this morning. And the importance of concentration. Oftentimes I find myself thinking that concentration means I need a single point outside of myself on which to concentrate, which is a wonderful type of meditation. But today I want you to concentrate internally on the foundation that is your breath. And see if you can feel your breath all the way down to the very base of your spine, to your root, that earthiness. See if you can feel your breath all the way down into the earth underneath you. And he's, even as the crown of your head gets longer, Use that tether to your foundation. It's much easier to jump off a bridge when we're attached to something. Bringing that foundation and concentration back into your breath, notice how you're breathing, and then see if you can start to elongate the inhales and exhales. Lightly closing off the back of the throat for ujjayi breath so that you can hear the sound of your breath. And then take a deep inhale in. Long exhale out. Deep inhale in for three, two, one, hold the breath, three, two, one, slow exhale out, three, two, one, hold empty, three, two, one, inhale in, three, two, one, hold at the top, three, two, one, exhale slowly, three, two, one, hold empty, three, two, one, one more time, inhale in, hold at the top. Exhale slowly, hold at the bottom. Take a deep inhale in, reach the crown of the head a little bit higher. Exhale, keep that length, relax the shoulders, knees, and hips. Inhale in, let the belly fill up, try and press your belly button away from your spine. Exhale out, push the belly button back toward the spine, push out a little extra air. One last time, take a deep inhale in. A long exhale out. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Bring the palms together, exhale them down in between the eyes. May your practice cultivate enlightened thoughts. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the mouth. May your practice cultivate enlightened speech. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the heart. 
May all of your practices cultivate an enlightened heart. Take one more inhale in. Exhale it out. And slowly find your way to tabletop. So the wrists right underneath your shoulders. Be sure that the wrists is parallel with the front of the mat, really pressing down to the tips of the fingers. Knees hip distance apart and slightly behind your hips, pressing down with the tops of your feet or tucking your toes if you would like a little more engagement. And then inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. And exhale in reverse, really feeling that whole breath. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. And exhale in reverse. Waking up the spine, inhale, drop the belly. Starting that breath connected to your movement, exhale. This time as you inhale, tuck your toes, come into plank. Keep the elbows pulling in, slightly bent, shoulders rolling down the spine, the shoulder blades pulling in, reaching the heels back, engaging the core, feeling the center of the back high, lengthening through the crown of the head. Take one more deep inhale in. Exhale, chaturanga, shoulders way out, elbows in. Inhale right back up for plank. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, rolling forward to plank. Exhale, floating down, chaturanga. Keep pressing down to the tips of the fingers. Try to not go past your elbows with your shoulders. Inhale, up for plank. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, floating down. Inhale, coming up, plank. Exhale, back, downward dog. Inhale that right heel up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale that heel up and back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale that heel up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale that heel up. Exhale, knee to nose. Softly place the right foot down near the right hand. Find that stability here. Be sure that that second toe is lined up with the ankle, knee, and hip. Be sure that knee is right over the ankle so you can pull back on that front heel forward with the left hip. Bring the hands to your hips and come up. Put a little bend in that back knee to really pull the hips forward. Engage the core. Relax the shoulders. Find that focal point. Feel your feet pulling in toward each other. And find those same deep breaths. Feeling that foundation of the feet pressing down into the earth, pulling in toward each other, strengthening all the way through the stability of the hips and up through our core. Long inhales, long exhales. Bring the hands to the heart. Try to take the weight forward and bring that left knee up into your chest. Take an inhale in. Exhale, send it all the way back, hands to heart. Inhale, bring that left knee in. Exhale, send it all the way back. Move slowly, move with control. Inhale, coming forward. This time, keep a bend in that right knee. Keep that left knee reaching towards your chest. Same deep breaths. Bring the hands to heart center. Start to straighten the right leg. Bring that left foot in for tree. Hold into that hip. Down by the calf. Notice if we're sinking into the right hip, pull it back to center. Same deep breaths. And then grab the left ankle with the left hand. Feel the left knee pointing straight down toward the earth, pulling the left hip forward. 
See if you can feel that quad stretch in the front, pulling that heel in towards your glute. Bring your hand to heart center or under your hip. Take one inhale in, kick into that hand just a little. And then bend into the right knee, hands to heart center, send that left foot all the way back. Take an inhale in. Exhale, left hand down, right fingertips up. Same long inhales, long exhales. Still feeling the feet pulling in toward each other. Breathe down into the diaphragm, feeling your foundation, feeling that balance, feeling that earthiness. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, place the right hand down, send that right foot back to meet the left. Take an inhale in and plank. Exhale, all the way down to the mat, untuck the toes. Engage the low back, lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale in for cobra. Exhale, releasing down. Inhale up for cobra, a little higher. Exhale, releasing down. Pressing down with the tops of the feet. Inhale up one more time, a little higher. Exhale, releasing down, tuck the toes. Inhale up for blank. Exhale, bring the feet together back behind you. Inhale, rolling onto the outside of the right foot. Reach the left fingertips up. If you need to, you can place that right knee down. Try to get those hips a little bit higher. Maybe bringing that left foot in for tree. These last few breaths. Down into the diaphragm, hips a little higher. Press down a little more with the tips of the fingers. One more inhale in. Exhale, coming back through plank. All the way down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up, your back bend of choice. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Three long breaths, putting a little bend in the knees, a little bend in the elbows, lengthening the crown of the head toward your hands, lengthening through the spine, feeling that stability and pressing down through the feet and hands. And then inhale that left heel up. Be sure the left hip doesn't stack. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale that heel up and back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Try and get that knee up high. Inhale that heel up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale that heel up. Exhale, knee to nose. Softly place that foot down near the left hand. Find that same alignment, same stability. Bring the hands to the hips and come up. A little bend in that right knee, pulling the hips forward, engaging the core. Find that focal point and breathe. And just notice what thoughts are coming up. Notice where your focus is. Notice your concentration. All of these balancing postures, they take a lot of concentration, but it's not an external concentration. It's just a searching, a wandering, a looking for that place of balance. And that balance is our foundation. It's that earthiness, it's that groundedness. Bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, bring that right knee all the way up into your chest. Exhale, send it all the way back. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, send it back. Feel stable here. Notice if there are any little places where you kind of come out of alignment, where we start to wobble. Move slowly through those. Inhale up one more time. This time as you exhale, just bend into that left knee. Try and get that right knee a little higher. Notice how that pulls the hips a little farther forward. Be sure we're not collapsing into the low back. Shoulders relaxed and breathe. Maybe letting the corners of your mouth head up towards your ears. Slowly straightening that left leg. 
Release the right knee so you can keep holding it in. Slowly placing it in for tree. Same deep breaths. Notice we're collapsing into that hip. Keep it working. And then feel that foundation, even though we're just on one foot and we're so long and up into the sky. Feel that left foot pressing into the earth, spreading the toes like your roots reaching out, feeling that strong, earthy foundation. Deep breaths. Grab that right ankle. Find that quad stretch in the front of that right knee, right leg, right thigh. Notice what happens when you start to place your focus, your concentration on one part of the body. Notice what else starts to react and respond. Keep that same alignment, same strength. Just a little opening, kick into that hand. Feel a little arch in that low back. And release, hands to heart. Bend into the left knee, toes all the way back. Take an inhale in. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left fingers up. Notice the concentration, notice the thoughts, notice the breath. Are the feet still pulling in toward each other? Is there a lot of weight on that right hand? Can you take some of it out? Distribute it evenly between your feet and that hand. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, place that left hand down. Send that left foot back to meet the right. Take an inhale in. Exhale down all the way. Inhale through and up. Exhale, releasing down, tuck the toes. Inhale up for plank. Exhale, bring your feet together, back behind you. Inhale, rolling onto the outside of that left foot, right fingers up. Same deep breaths. Hips a little higher, breathing a little deeper. Feel the strength of that foundation, even in this balancing posture. Take one more inhale in. Exhale it out. One more inhale in. Exhale back through center all the way down. Inhale through and up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. If you need to take a child's pose, take a few breaths, otherwise stick with us, stay in downward dog. Feeling the strength of that foundation, feet and hands pressing. And then as you're ready, bring that right foot forward. Place that back heel down. Find your way up, warrior two. Same deep breaths. Feet pulling in toward each other. Pelvis tilting slightly underneath you. Engaging the core, relaxing the shoulders. Try to not put all the weight in that front foot or all the weight in the back foot. Find that even space of your foundation. And right elbow, right thigh. Left fingers reach, whatever variation of extended side angle you would like to find. Find those deep breaths. Notice if in taking a variation, your hip comes out of alignment. Notice if all of the weight goes toward one space in the body. Try to find that strong foundation, strong concentration in your breath. Bring that left hand to your hip. Right fingertips out. Take the weight forward and up. Ardha Chandrasana. Same deep breaths, really letting that left hip stack on top of the right. Reach those left fingertips up if you would like. Maybe floating up off the right fingertips, expanding out from your center, feeling that foundation through the whole right foot. Spread the toes, deep breaths. Just 
slowly let the left fingertips come down. Be sure that the left hip stays right next to the right, no longer stacking or dropping underneath. Maybe bringing one hand to heart center, maybe both. Same long inhales, long exhales, lengthen through the crown of the head, lengthen through the heel. Staying here, left fingertips down, tuck that left hip under, reach those right fingers up. Still lengthening through the crown of the head, lengthening through that heel. Feel that foundation even though you're floating up in the sky. One more inhale in. Exhale, place that right hand down. This time inhale, get that left heel as high as you can. Nose and toward your knee. And then bending into that right knee, send that left foot all the way back. We're going to slowly come back into warrior two. So place that left heel down, reach the left fingertips up. Straighten the right leg. Reach with the right fingers. Keep those feet pulling in toward each other. Strong foundation. Right fingertips down, left fingertips up. Deep breaths. And take one more inhale in. Exhale, bend into the right knee, place the hands down, send that right foot back to meet the left. Take an inhale in and plank. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Bring that left foot up in between your hands. Place that right heel down. Find your way up, warrior two. Still pulling the feet in toward each other, engaging all the same foundation, same breath, same focus. Notice your thoughts. Notice if they've wandered, notice your concentration. If you're having trouble concentrating on right here and right now, then maybe bend a little deeper. Maybe pull the hips forward a little more, find something else to engage. Find an even stronger foundation. If you're finding yourself completely exhausted, then maybe straightening that leg a little bit. Finding more focus with your breath, more depth with your breath. Left elbow, left thigh. Whatever variation you had on the other side. I know oftentimes when I'm thinking about concentration and foundation, I start to think about all those things that I need to do, that I have to do how to be correct, how to be perfect, how to be in alignment, how to set everything up. But so much of, of a foundation is allowing. We can make as many plans as we want, but they're always going to change. Right hand to the hip. Reach those left fingertips out. Take the weight forward and up. Find your artisan on this side. Lengthening, breathing, finding that foundation. Just know that we can make as many plans as we want. Figure it out as much as we want. That true foundation, that true center, just comes in our ability to allow, our ability to accept, to breathe. Not being attached to it being perfect or being terrible. And just breathing and experiencing. Find your way to warrior three as you're ready. Right fingertips down, 
maybe hands toward heart center, lengthening through the crown of the head, maybe keeping a little bend in that front knee if that left hamstring is just not having it. Listen to your body, listen to your breath. Don't go for the external of the pose. Don't go for that picture. Go for the sensations in your body, the experiences in your musculature, your nervous system. Just like when we go for those perfect images in our life, it'll always feel like we're falling short. Just go for the experience, whatever that experience might be. Maybe staying here, maybe finding your way to Parvri Dardashandrasana. Just breathe. Experience, feel that foundation, feel your breath. Feel your breath in these crazy places as the body floats but finds its tether down in the earth. Just ending splits as you're ready. Breathe a little deeper. Reach a little more. And then find that place in your experience, that edge, that wall that says, oh, I've been here before, I can stay here. And see if you can go beyond it. Find another experience, a new sensation. Slowly find your way back, warrior two. As you're ready, through your triangle, move with your breath. Finding that concentration, finding that foundation. Feeling the legs active, pulling in toward each other, the breath active, getting deeper and deeper. And then as you're ready, find your way through vinyasa. Move with your breath. Move with that focus. That foundation, that strength. Bring that right foot up. Back knee down. Make a little pillow with the left side of the mat if you would like. That right hand close in to that right foot. Same alignment. Bring both hands to the inside of that right foot. Maybe coming down one forearm at a time. Letting the head, neck, and shoulders release. Maybe letting that right knee fall slightly out to the right side. Just breathing, releasing. And slowly coming up to your hands, reach back with the right hand, bend the left knee, and a nice deep thigh stretch here on that left side. Gently releasing that left side, take an inhale in. Exhale, send that right hip back, flex the right toes, crown of the head down. Inhale, coming forward. Do this three times on your own. Notice the focus, notice the concentration, notice your breath. Next time we find ourselves forward, tuck the back toes. Find our way up, crescent pose. Keeping those fingertips reaching up on an inhale. Try and keep the chest high. Inhale, bring that left knee all the way up into your chest. 
exhale, send it all the way back. Inhale, bring that knee up. Exhale, send it back. Inhale up one more time. This time, let's bend into that right knee, cross that left leg over the right, coming into eagle. You can either keep those toes down on the earth. Take that right arm on top of the left. Hands, backs, or reaching all the way around. Maybe reaching those left toes around for the full bind. Same deep breaths. Find that focus. Feel that foundation. Keeping those left toes up off the earth if you can. Start to unwind. Reach back with that left hand. This time really kick in to that left hand. We reach the right arm forward. Find your way into full dancer, wherever that might be. Deep breaths. Slowly come into tree. Reach the fingertips up. Hands to heart center. Send that left heel all the way back. Bend into the right knee slowly. Place those left toes down on the earth. Place the hands down. Send that right foot back. Take an inhale in and plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Bring that left foot up in between your hands. Make a little pillow with the right side of the mat. Place the right knee down. Both hands to the inside. And breathe. Notice the focus. Notice your foundation. Have your feet turned off. Are they still pressing down? Are you still breathing deep? Find your way up to your hands. Keep that right hand down. Bend into the right knee. Reach back with the left. Pull it in. Release through that right quad. And breathe. Keeping that foundation active. Foundation of the feet. Foundation in the breath. Feel that earthiness, that connection. Release that side. Inhale in. Exhale back three times. Move through all those spots in the hips. Notice any of the tendencies, what we avoid, where we try to navigate and get around and see if we can just breathe through it, moving through those old habits. Next time you find yourself forward, tuck those back toes and find your way up, crescent pose. Trying to keep the chest high, keeping those fingertips reaching up. Inhale, bring that right knee up. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, send it back. 
Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, slowly bend. Cross that right leg over. Left arm on top. Hug. Palms. Full wrap. Maybe reaching those right toes. We're just staying right here. Deep breaths. Keeping that same length through the crown of the head. The same breath deep in your belly. Gently unwind. Keep those right toes up if you can. Grab that right ankle with the right hand. Left fingertips reach forward. Find your way out. Kicking into that hand to whatever degree. You feel that length through the body, length through the breath. Spreading that whole foundation on the left foot. Find that focal point. Breathe into your diaphragm. Gently find your way, tree pose. Feel that earthiness. Feel like your roots are growing down into that soil. Feel each breath, breathing all the way from your foundation, all the way up into your lungs. Feel that diaphragm moving. Reach the fingertips. Hands to heart center. Start to reach that right heel back. And gently into that left knee, slowly, one millimeter at a time. Send those right toes all the way back. Send that left foot back to meet the right. Take an inhale in. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale through and up. Exhale back, downward dog. Inhale that right heel up, point the toe, let it fall over to the side, open up that hip. Be sure the shoulders stay parallel to the front of the mat. And then straighten that right leg out, bring it all the way forward. Find your way out for pigeon. Place that back knee down, walk those right toes over, keep them nice and flat. If this is too much on the hip or knee, bring that left knee up for a nice modified pigeon. Try to bring your chest right out over your shin. And then find your way down. Make a little pillow with your fists if you would like for your forehead. And breathe. Release. Start to let the breath slow down. The heart rate slow down. Hips release. And even here, feeling every part of the body that is connected down into the earth and feel it getting heavier. Feeling the strength of that foundation, strength of the breath and concentration. The strength of release and allowing. And that is really our true foundation. And spending a lot of time with the Bhagavad Gita. Talking about Sattva, Rajas, and Tamas. The Sattvic experience is the, the, very, the very light, the beautiful uh, 
the rajasic experience is very passionate or angry or active, fiery. The tamasic experience is very lethargic and muddy and slow, creates a lot of ignorance, these sorts of qualities. So it would seem like, well, of course, I would want to strive for these sattvic experiences. I want to always have these joyful, happy, wonderful experiences all the time. But the thing is, when we are always desirous of the wonderful experiences, we become much less capable of handling the tamasic experience. And it's all part of it. It's all part of growth. A big part of growth and change is making mistakes. And so a lot of what is talked about is to not be attached to any of them. To let our foundation be in our breath. To just experience the experiences. To not be attached to them. To just experience the pain and the pleasure that's in the hip right now as it's releasing and opening not being attached to only the pleasurable part of it, but just experiencing it as a whole. It's a hard concept. It's hard to not be attached to beautiful, bright, and wonderful things. But when we become too attached to those things, then their equal and opposite become that much worse. Slowly, gently find your way up. Tuck those left toes. Send that right foot back and up. Release it. Reach that left heel up. Point the toe. Let it fall over to the side. As you're ready, find your way to the other side. Leave you on this side for a little while. As you're here breathing, I want you to think about what sort of experience this is right now. All of our experiences have a different degree of each of these sorts of things and the rajasic can be nice. I mean we all need passion, we all need inspiration. Sattvic experience is pretty wonderful. You know sometimes even when we're stuck in all of this rajasic experience of passion and desire and we need a little tamasic, we need a little rest. So can we look at these experiences as not necessarily better or worse, but just different?
So just notice where you are, notice your focus, notice your breath, try to come back to those same long inhales and long exhales, find your way gently up to your hands, tuck the back toes, send that left foot back, up, release. One final downward dog. Find your way to your back. If you're not inverting today, bring the soles of your feet together. Knees fall out to the side, right hand to your heart, left hand to your diaphragm. If you would like to invert today, you can bring those knees into your chest, toes up over your head, find your way gently into plow. And maybe slowly up. A nice shoulder stand. Share all the weights in the shoulders and elbows. Or if you'd rather grab a headstand. And flip yourself over. Find your way up. Smooth, slow. Feeling that firm foundation wherever you are. Same deep breaths. Same way that you came in, slowly find your way out. Everyone roll gently. Under your backs, pulling the knees into your chest, rocking from side to side. And then place the heels down. Push the heels down, lift the hips up. Tuck the shoulder blades under. Really feel that rolling up onto the shoulder. Nice little bridge. If you'd like, you can place your hands under your ears and press yourself up. Whatever feels right for your practice, for your body, for your breath. Coming up to the balls of the feet as you're ready. Roll down one vertebra at a time. Pull that right knee up into your chest. Straighten the left leg out. Pull the right knee over the body, the left hand. Really feel that right shoulder heavy, maybe even making a little cactus arm with that right hand. Same deep breaths, down into that twisted diaphragm. Let this be a nice final release and letting go. Still allowing that focus to be on that foundation, even as we're releasing. Feeling all the places in the body that are touching the earth. Letting them feel heavier and heavier and spreading out. Feeling firm in that foundation, firm in our breath. Slowly coming back through center, straighten that right leg out, pull that left knee in. Pull it over the body with the right hand. Same deep breaths. Pull 
allowing the body to begin to feel and know that balance between the active, aggressive, passionate energy in that release and allowing. It's all a giant balancing game, finding that center. No one action is better or worse than the other when it comes to our passions and desires and these works that we do. As long as they remain in the selfless, to be of service, to be of service to others and to ourselves. The key is finding that balance. Keeping that balance in mind, slowly coming back through center. Tucking one shoulder blade and the other. Taking this time to feel that foundation, that foundation in yourself. We must have radical self-love before we can be of service to others, before we can be in a space to hold space for others. There's always going to be a balance, finding that balance between taking care of self so that we can be there for others, asking for help when we need it, asking for time when we need it, Allowing our foundation to be in ourselves. If you would like, at the very base of your spine, at your root, you can feel that red energy swirling from that root chakra. If those sorts of visualizations are not you like, then feel your breath down there. See if with each breath you can feel your root, the root of your nervous system, expanding, releasing, getting wider, more capable of being that strong foundation for the rest of your life, your body, your thoughts. Allowing that foundation some time to heal, allowing that foundation some time to strengthen. Allowing yourself some time just to be.
Now I want you to invite you, if you so choose, to connect some of your own vibration to this space, to this energy. And if an OM is not something that you want to do, that's just fine. Just do a silent OM. For those of you that want to connect your voice with this space, take a deep inhale in. Long exhale out. And I invite you to join me in three ohms as we inhale in. right here, melting down into the earth, into this earthy foundational energy. Or if you would like, slowly, slowly activating through the fingertips and toes, rolling the wrists and ankles, maybe just rolling onto one side. And if you decide to make your way up to a seated position, I encourage you to feel like you are pulling this earthy energy, this foundation up with you as you come to a seated position. And if you ever feel like you lose that connection to that foundation, you can just lay right back down, melt down into your mat. Notice if that nervous system feels a little calmer. If your breath is coming a little easier. If your thoughts are a little further apart. And if you can feel that heaviness, that earthiness, that strong foundation from which you might springboard into infinity. That limitless space. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Bring the palms together and all of that energy, exhale it all down in between the eyes. May your life be filled with enlightened thoughts. Inhale, exhale, the hands in front of the mouth. May you always have the patience for enlightened speech. Inhale, exhale, the hands in front of the heart. May your heart have the healing it requires to live an enlightened life. Namaste. Truly, truly, take your time. There is no rush. When you're ready to go about your day, be sure to find your feet. Find that foundation. Never teach the same class twice. It's always based on allowing this moment right now. So thank you all so much for that. That was very much appreciated for bringing that energy. As most of you know, these are all donation-based classes. We ask that you honor the suggested donation 
$15 if you are able. For those of you that make it here in person, there's a donation station on your way out. And for those of you at home, there's a donation button on your screen. Thank you so much for your continued support so that we can bring this service to our community and to the world. I hope that you will take this feeling, this space of foundation in with you to your day, your week, your month, your life. And that it is a brilliant one.